China has impacted almost every human life by making available consumer goods, medicines, and improved infrastructure in countries with which they have partnerships. China's increasing presence in the day-to-day -day lives of people everywhere suggests that it might not be too late to recognize its capabilities in terms of changing from a poor agrarian economy to one that is expected to exceed that of the USA. It currently stands in second place in terms of GDP. The dragon has certainly made its presence felt. The pluses of the empire of the dragon. The World Bank estimates around 7.2 million people in China, which is 0.5% of the population of 1.41 billion people, are below the poverty line. According to the OECD library, among low and middle income countries, China, Fiji, Mongolia and Thailand have less than 0.5% of their population below the poverty line. China, Fiji, Mongolia and Thailand have all made significant strides in reducing poverty in their respective countries. Here are some of the measures they have taken. But please note that these are just a few examples of the measures taken by these countries to reduce poverty. There are many other factors that have also contributed to their success in this area. China. The Chinese government has implemented a comprehensive rural development policy that has supported remarkable growth in agriculture productivity and boosted off-farm income, which now accounts for more than 70% of rural household income. The government has also launched a package of targeted poverty reduction programs covering broad areas from physical infrastructure, social development, to industrial development and income generation to assist poor households and poor areas and improve their ability to share the benefits of national growth and generate more income by themselves. Fiji has implemented a number of policies aimed at reducing poverty, including the introduction of a minimum wage the establishment of a social welfare system and the provision of free primary and secondary education. Mongolia has implemented several policies aimed at reducing poverty, including the introduction of a cash transfer program, the establishment of a social welfare system and the provision of free primary and secondary education. Thailand has implemented several policies aimed at reducing poverty, including the introduction of a universal healthcare system, the establishment of a social welfare system, and the provision of free primary and secondary education. China has annexed neighboring countries over the years and now occupies much of the East Asia landmass. Hi, I'm Akhil Jugran, and I welcome you to the Poverty Agenda. The country is divided into 22 provinces, five autonomous regions, four municipalities, and two semi-autonomous special administrative regions. Beijing is the national capital, while Shanghai is the most populous city and the largest financial center. The government of China is based on a system of people's congress within the parameters of a unitary Marxism-Leninist state in which the ruling Chinese Communist Party, the CCP, enacts its policies through People's Congresses. The CCP controls appointments in all state bodies through a two-thirds majority in the National People's Congress, the NPC. The remaining seats are held by nominally independent delegates and eight minor political parties, which are non-oppositional and support the CCP. All government bodies and state-owned enterprises have internal CCP committees that lead the decision-making in these institutions. The president represents China abroad, though since the 1990s the presidency has always been held by the CCP General Secretary. The Chinese government's official web portal is gov.cn which provides information and services for foreigners and Chinese nationals. The National People's Congress, the NPC, is the highest organ of state power and the national legislature of the People's Republic of China.
It is unicameral body with 2,977 members in 2023, making it the largest legislative body in the world. The NPC is composed of delegates who are elected by the People's Congresses of Provinces, Autonomous Regions, Municipalities, directly under the central government, Special Administrative Regions and the Armed Forces. The NPC meets annually for about two weeks to review and approve major new policy directions, laws, the budget and major personnel changes. According to the World Bank, the five largest economies in the world in 2022 were the United States with 25,744.1 billion, China 17,963.17 billion, Japan 5,152.9 billion, and Germany 4,936.4 billion, and India 3,464.8 billion. The contribution of agriculture to the GDP of each of these countries is as follows. The United States, 0.9% of the country's GDP. China, 7.3% of the country's GDP. Japan, 1.1% of the country's GDP. Germany, 0.6% of the country's GDP. And India, 15.4% of the country's GDP. The major industries driving growth for China include the service sector, agriculture, manufacturing, and technology. Manufacturing is by far the biggest industry in China, accounting for 46.8% of the country's GDP, which is attributed to China's intense investment in its heavy industries. China's manufacturing industry has experienced tremendous growth in the past century, with the country rising from being a small-scale player in global manufacturing to becoming the largest manufacturer in 2010, surpassing the United States, which had held that distinction for over a century. As a testament to the booming industry in the country, China used more cement in three years between 2011 and 2013 than the U.S.'s cumulative consumption in the entire 20th century. The total manufacturing output in China is equivalent to 20% of the total global production. China is the world number one producer of cement, steel, and chemical fertilizers. Of the 10 largest steel producers in the world, six are based in China, with the country's annual steel production of 683 million tons being the highest in the world. China also has the largest cotton textile output of any country, with textile manufacturing accounting for 10% of the country's gross industrial output. China is the third largest producer of automobiles in the world behind the US and Japan, with the annual automobile export being estimated to be 70 billion US dollars. The automobile sector experienced dramatic growth in the past few decades, with the country's annual automobile output increasing from 1.45 million units in 1995 to over 13.7 million units in 2009. Manufactured products account for about 94.3% of China's 2.09 trillion total exports, which include automobiles, ships, locomotives, textiles, fertilizers, and electronics. The contribution of industry to the GDP of each of the better-off countries is as follows. The United States, 17.9% of the country's GDP. China, 39.3% of the country's GDP. Japan, 28.8% of the country's GDP. Germany, 26.7% of the country's GDP. And India, 26.1% of the country's GDP. China is perceived as a threat to the Western Bloc countries for several reasons. One of the main reasons is that China's rapid economic growth has challenged the economic dominance of the West. China has become the world's largest economy based on purchasing parity with a GDP of 23.2 trillion in 2017. China's manufacturing industry has experienced tremendous growth in the past century, 
with the country rising from being a small scale player in global manufacturing to becoming the largest manufacturer in 2010, surpassing the United States, which had held that distinction for over a century. China is also the world's largest producer of cement, steel, and chemical fertilizers. China's rise as an economic superpower has led to concerns among Western countries about the impact of China's economic policies on their economies. Another reason why China is perceived as a threat is its increasing military power and territorial ambitions. China has been rapidly modernizing its military and has been investing heavily in new weapon systems, including aircraft carriers, stealth fighters, and ballistic missiles. China has also been involved in territorial disputes with several of its neighbors, including Japan, Vietnam, and the Philippines over islands and maritime boundaries in the East and South China Seas. These disputes have raised concerns amongst Western countries about China's intentions and its willingness to use military force to achieve its goals. Finally, China's authoritarian political system and its human rights record have also contributed to its negative image in the West. China's government has been criticized for its treatment of ethnic and religious minorities, including Uyghur Muslims in Xinjiang province, and for its crackdown on political dissent and freedom of expression. These issues have led to concerns among Western countries about China's commitment to human rights and democratic values. Thank you for being part of this presentation. Hope to see you soon.